Hey guys, what's going on? It is Saul over at Sup Up, bringing you another workout nutrition DIY video. Today, I'll be teaching you the best way to take creatine that's going to end up being the most effective for you. So let's go ahead and get started. You remember a while ago, I did a video on old school training methods to get fuller and stronger arms from your workouts. This ties in really well with that video because it'll lead to better mass gain. Now, creatine is a well-known supplement that's had loads of research to back it over the years. If you're not entirely sure what creatine is, in short, it's an amino acid supplement that helps with boosting muscle mass. I go into more depth in both of my nutrition guides, Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition on the go and Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition at home. But for now, that's the most important thing to remember. And quite simply, it works. But having it work effectively is what's key. As I've mentioned in both nutrition guides, my use of supplements outside of whole food nutrition has been in flux over the years. I've tried different things, disposed of what doesn't work, and kept what does. There are loads of products out there that are bunk, overpriced, or just outright unhealthy in regards to quality. Now, probably the most annoying aspect of the supplement industry is how some companies try and sell customers all-in-one goods. Now, if you've read either of the nutrition guides, you'll know why I don't condone this. For a simple example, the most interesting thing I've come across lately is instant foods from supplement companies with creatine added in. This may seem great in theory, but different people have different needs. Okay, so creatine is great. I encourage its use, but how and when you take it is just as important, and that's the point that I'm getting at here. Kind of like how taking fats after your whey protein is more effective, but that's another story for another time. Now, cycling off of creatine is equally important, as too much creatine can oversaturate the muscles, making it harder to gain mass, which I elaborate on in both the nutrition guides. So what's the best way to take creatine? Well, it's as simple as one, two, three, and I mean that literally. Now this is the best way to take creatine that'll end up being the most effective. So step one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take five grams per day post-workout with your post-workout shake for eight weeks. Second, on weeks nine and 10, you're gonna stop taking it for two weeks. Third, you're gonna take a week off your training after week number 10, and during this interim for five days, load your creatine at five grams per serving, four times per day, making for a total of 20 grams of creatine a day. And that's it. After your week off of training, you just repeat the first step for another eight weeks and continue the cycle. If you've already read either Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition on the go or Sup Up Noble Whole Food Military Nutrition at home, you'll know that this method assures three very important things. If you haven't, well, you know what to do. The link is in the description below and up on the screen. And by the way, guys, if you haven't already, uh, we've launched a new workout logs journal that you can pick up over on Amazon. But for a limited time, we're actually giving away the workout logs for free over at the Sup Up website. And you can go ahead and pick those up if you just go to the link that's on the screen. So go ahead and get yours today. It covers everything from conditioning to resistance workouts. It's really good. And I'm really excited about its launch. Now, a couple of things to mention. There are a lot of different ways to take creatine, but I find this to be the best method. The type of creatine you take is also important. Micronized creatine is the best quality, and it doesn't dramatically differ in price in comparison to regular creatine. It's also easier on the system, as cheap creatine can cause bloating for some people, which kind of fuels, when I think about it, the myth that women can bloat from it, which is just not true. It's not the creatine per se, it's more or less the type. And speaking of women, with your week off, some people, like some women who don't lift heavy, only have to load with 3 grams of creatine per day compared to the 5 grams a day stated above. So 5 grams is kind of like the general guideline, but you know, sometimes for smaller frame people or people that aren't lifting as heavy you can just take three grams a day now if you're interested in picking up micronized creatine you can find it in the sup up store and the link for that is in the description below buy either of the nutrition guides and you will end up discovering what other supplements are the best to use for pre intra and post workout nutrition under the supplements chapter unless that kid schools out if you like this video share it subscribe and comment below uh, if you really like this video but you don't have the sup up guides yet Go ahead and buy them over at the Sup Up website. The link is in the description below and up on the screen. Uh, they cost less than the shirt on your back, but unlike that shirt, the knowledge gain lasts a lifetime. Now, if you've already bought the guides, hey, thanks, then go ahead and check out the other gear in my shop. Uh, from nutrition supplements to apparel, you can pick up some whey protein for your next workout, new threads for that sleeve splitting arm today, or something else that'll help you remember that when it comes to fueling and training your body, once you learn how to, where you are matters less. And every item, the material, color, style, ingredients, and quality are all handpicked by me, so if I won't wear it, eat it, drink it, or read it, I will not sell it to you. It's that simple. If you go ahead and get the guides, you'll discover recipes with nutritional breakdown in each of the nutrition guides to make things nice and easy. And that's available under the snacks chapters. And previews of the chapters are available in the shop. Uh, with the workout guides, you'll get in-depth customizable workout plans with breakdowns of how to effectively and efficiently train your muscles no matter where you are. And all guides teach you how to eliminate worries or concerns about getting the nutrition and strength and conditioning you need to stay fighting fit for when you're deployed or at home. 
And that's it, guys. Uh, drop by next time for another great video to add to your workout and nutrition arsenal. And most importantly, stop doing guesswork. Start making the necessities of your life easier. Because if you know how to fuel and train your body, where you are matters less. That's it for me. Uh, have a great week, weekend, whichever. Uh, peace.